my new Nikon Z6 II and um, all right it's not mine actually I borrowed it from Omar we are here hanging out together in Hoboken enjoying the beautiful view of New York City here at Stevens Tech Stevens Institute of Technology and Educational Center um, I've been having a come to Jesus moment with my shopping cart at B&H Photos where I wasn't sure if I wanted to get the A7 IV still and uh, I was just going to jump into the Nikon system, the uh, Z6 II or the, the Z5, but after holding a, it, it brings back a lot of the weight issues I remember with the Nikon. Of course, this is using the uh, f 2.8 glass of 24 to 70 so that explains why it's so heavy but I think it was good I had a I had a call with Omar earlier today I was heading to B&H to actually cancel my a7 IV order and pick up the Nikon Z2 and I, and I think after talking to him it kind of grounded me as far as not continuing with the purchase and, and either waiting for the a7 IV or to stick with the X-T4. I think that the X-T4 is more than a capable camera. I think I'm running now with the 56 millimeter F1.2, the 16 millimeter 1.4, the kit lens 18 to 55, F2 8.8 to 4, and the 23 millimeter F2. I think I have enough that if I want to do some professional work, that's gonna get me what I need. Will I, will I miss the full frame depth of field? Yes. Will I still be able to produce photos that my clients would be very satisfied with? Yes. So that's ultimately what it comes down to. It's a, it's a big camera, it's a meaty camera. It's, it's not, I'm not used to it anymore. I went from the a7III, the a7C, X-T3, X-T4. This, this camera is, is massively heavy compared to that. Um, and I, I couldn't walk around with this all day long or you know a couple hours at a photo shoot. So. If, it's, if the a7 IV doesn't work out in my future, I might become a full-time Fuji shooter. We'll see. So out here with the Z7, uh, the Z6 II, Omar Z6 II, I was stopped by a wonderful elder, uh, older couple and uh, lifelong residents of Hoboken, teachers at the Stevens Tech Institute for over 40 years. And um, conversation started about, you know, what are we doing? What are we photographing? Maybe I had the terrorist look, kidding. Um, they were very sweet. And um, I asked them if they would pose for me, take a couple pictures with the C7, I keep saying seven, the Z6 II. Um, and when I get home, I'll be able to take a look at it and see how the images came out. Really wonderful older couple. And uh, I got their email address so I could forward them the images once I'm done and hopefully it ends up uh, something that they're happy with. Wish I had the X-T4 in hand, I would have been able to rock it, I would have had them flexing, posing. You know what, I don't think uh, Norman at his age would have been rocking the, the flexing and the posing, but it all worked out. All right, let's see what else we can get. We're, we're actually in Hoboken and uh, I was just telling the people, Omar, about um, Norman, who I just met, and his lovely wife. <laughs> Random old people coming up to us. And I said that he probably thought I was a terrorist and uh, taking, like, scouting pictures. <laughs> yeah, you never know why people, like, um, just approach you on the street. You have to, like, your your radar goes off. So he's like, excuse me, can I ask you a question? Excuse me, sir. Uh, you're not from around these parts, are you? I'm like, actually, I am. <laughs> I just threw that we grew up here right away. I'm like, so. listen, no, bro, back up. Omar was ready to throw some fists, for real. That old lady looked pretty strong. <laughs> she did. She did. So, um... I'm walking around with his camera around my neck and it's like weighing me down. So my question to Omar is, how has the evolution into Nikon gone for you? Is it something that you're 100% happy with? Is there is there a big hang up besides, I know you don't like the way the focus modes fly across each other. Yeah. Besides that, is there something that you would want to warn people about before jumping into Nikon or is that like the biggest catch up for you. Yeah, so first of all, I want to say that Mo's head looks so ginormous compared to mine. Because it's so small. <laughs> I love that look. It's like, <laughs> hey, I'm a little pea head. I, uh, he got head offended. I have a big I head. would say <laughs> that um, 
my initial switch was when I first switched to Nikon, there was a huge learning curve with the modes and changing modes. I think if someone was coming from Nikon, like mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. it, the menus and everything are the same from DSLR days. So I think the switch for someone there will be a lot easier. I had to learn the whole Nikon system and the colored menus and all that stuff. Right. So for me, it was, it was like a lot of trying and reading and all that kind of stuff. Now, as soon as I learned the Nikon way, I'm still struggling with uh, quick switches with Nikon. I think if you're doing landscapes and, and just uh, street photography and portraits, you'll be totally fine. But since I shoot events with Nikon, right. I have to switch so fast with changing environments and stuff. So it's, I'm still learning, but I'm, I cross that border where I'm definitely sticking with Nikon because I'm loving the image quality. Yes. A million percent. He took a photo of me walking down the street today and just looking at the back of the camera, I like instantly begged him <laughs> to send me that photo. It looks so beautiful. The colors yeah, but and the images are so amazing. Come like, on, it was with the uh, 105 1.4, which is like such a perfect it's, it's, lens. It's a cheating lens. It's, it's cheating. cheating. 1.4 at 105, it's, it's, you can't take a bad portrait. Also, so. I was telling my fans here, the, the three of them watching, I was telling them how Omar, uh, I had to call Omar to for a come to Jesus moment with my cart. This oh my morning. God! Total intervention. And and it, and it actually saved my life because I was actually I was on my way to do a, an errand and then go straight to B and H. Listen, you guys already know Mo. Oh, he has so bad. a sickness yes. where he has to have some of the latest stuff. And and I've I uh, I have that too where I want new things, but I'm so much better than Mo. Mo's the worst. Oh, I am the worst. But you know what? What, what saved me was calling him and asking him to be. It's not our first intervention. No, no, it's not. Like I, I, I don't I don't do it often because I know it gets sickening. But but today I really needed to be talked out of it. Like I knew, I knew in the back of my mind that a Z62 is just I don't need that. Yeah, you know what I told you too is is a lot of times you you have to think about what your needs are and like right now your needs i think like are we go out for the, like this we right. go out and shoot for right. fun right. and i think a smaller camera is so much better for going out and like look how heavy this thing is oh, around listen, your neck trust me <laughs> show them i'll hold that yeah yeah they've already seen it like eight times but this thing is like eight, no, eight but put it around your neck and uh, show like uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, like, oh. <laughs> it's like it's like one million grams it's so heavy yeah it's crazy so i think you know i think today was really an eye-opening type of day where uh coming out here with my xt4 i realized you know what it's perfect weight it's exactly what i need i'm gonna give it a full run at this uh i gotta i gotta you just shoot. gotta stop switching man i haven't switched in two years so shut your face <laughs> That's a long time for a camera. Actually, no, I was on, I was with Nikon for like eight years. I know. And well, the only reason I left Nikon was because they didn't have mirrorless. Yeah, yeah. But that's why I wanted to get back into Nikon. But then I realized but he, yeah. I already have the 85. I already have the it's, 35. Those are the only say, lenses I shoot with. Lens, uh, the other issue with the Nikon Z system is the lenses, they, they don't have any nifty 50 cheap. Like, you can't really get a $200. Yeah, the nifty 50 is like 625 Exactly. So you, if you're grabbing a couple of lenses, you know, um, you could start with the kit lens, but some of those primes are 700, 800. And it's nice with Sony system. There's just so many choices that are cheap, exactly, you know. Exactly. But I've been loving adapting more than using the the native. Yeah. Don't 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 mention that because I might change my mind again. <laughs> Wait till you see your photos. Oh my goodness. Actually, hey, the I, light's getting kind of good. All right. All right, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Thanks, Omar. <laughs> sure. Just said goodbye to Omar, heading to my car to go pick up some food and eat because that's what big boys like to do. Well, anyway, thank you so much, guys, for hanging out. And uh, as I played around with the Z62, I gotta pause and say it right. Um, it's too much camera for me. I'm gonna definitely hold off on picking up anything until December, January, when the Sony A7 IV comes out and just stick with this Fuji X-T4 as my professional and play camera until then. And speaking until then, again, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, it's been Mo Morales. Thanks.